Hey there! Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay, and today I'm talking to the grown ups about the importance of LGBTQ representation in children's media. We all are part of one big family. Queer Kid Stuff. Hey there, grown-ups. Okay, today we're talking about something near and dear to my heart, LGBTQ plus representation in children's media. This ties directly into our mission here at Queer Kid Stuff, where we are imagining a kinder and more equal future through our videos. Right now, there is a serious lack of LGBTQ plus representation in children's media. Steven Universe and now Julie's Green Room on Netflix are the only shows for kids with legitimate LGBTQ plus representation that is specifically geared towards kids. We've already talked about the queerness in Steven Universe, and in Julie's Green Room, one of the young puppet characters is gender non-conforming, which is so cool. Otherwise, there are a few one-offs like the moms on Good Luck Charlie on the Disney Channel and now LeFou in the live-action Beauty and the Beast, but these aren't enough. And to be perfectly honest, a lot of it is queer baiting. That's when a show teases that characters might be LGBTQ+, and drop small hints about their sexuality, but never actually acknowledge or follow through on confirming their LGBTQ+. They usually do it to bring in a more queer or liberal audience that might not have watched that TV show or movie otherwise. And when kids are watching these stories, those small queer moments usually fly by them without a second glance. It's hard to really call this LGBTQ plus representation for kids when they might not even notice it. If you think about all the press Beauty and the Beast got for its gay moment with LeFou, you need to remember that kids aren't reading those news stories or press releases in order to get the context that LeFou is intended to be queer. The moment in the movie is so fleeting that most kids probably didn't notice unless a grown-up pointed it out to them. And even if they did notice, it wasn't a central plot point in the movie, and LeFou is a villain character. It's actually pretty common for Disney to use LGBTQ plus stereotypes in their villain characters, like Ursula, who was actually modeled from a drag queen. There's also Scar, Hades, and Jafar. Associating stereotypical LGBTQ plus characteristics with villains leaves kids with the idea that queerness itself is inherently evil. You can compare the few examples of actual positive LGBTQ plus representation in children's media with the hundreds and hundreds of movies and TV shows for kids that focus on romance between a boy and a girl. You can see this in nearly every Disney movie. Children's media has a huge, huge bias towards heterosexual storylines. This leads to a lot of problems. Because the larger purpose behind art and storytelling is for us as humans to see ourselves reflected back to us. And seeing your story and identity explored through art is incredibly validating. Kids who are or might become LGBTQ plus do not see themselves reflected in their stories right now. Kids who aren't and might not become LGBTQ plus are less likely to empathize with LGBTQ plus people because those identities are unfamiliar to them. This leads to bullying and increased rates of suicide and depression in LGBTQ plus youth, and that is unacceptable. The LGBTQ plus community has made huge strides in representation in adult media, but Right now it feels like we're taking a huge step back in quantity and quality when it comes to children's media. That's a big reason why I started Queer Kid Stuff. I want to balance the scale and help build a base of knowledge for kids around LGBTQ plus topics because it simply isn't there right now. I believe that when the scales are balanced and there's an equal amount of truly diverse media for children, that we can help kids build a kinder and more equal world. I would love to live in a world where I didn't have to come out to every new person I met or every new job I started or every new room I walked into. I want to live in a world where being straight isn't the immediate assumption. 
That's what Teddy and I are trying to do. We are imagining a kinder and more equal future. And I hope that someday that future can become our reality. We hope you can use our videos to help your little ones understand these topics that can be complicated and confusing, even for adults to understand. They're meant to be a conversation starter between kids and their grown-ups. Kids can watch them on their own too, but they really work best as the beginning or part of a larger conversation around these topics. And we really hope educators use them in their classrooms. You can check out some additional resources for educators on our website, QueerKidsStuff.com. If you want to help us on our mission, you can support us on our Patreon. We just made some awesome changes to our rewards, which you should check out. You can get access to our newsletter, a Patreon-only Facebook group, ukulele tutorials, one-on-one -on -one teacher consultations, and a whole lot more. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a better understanding of what we are trying to do here at Queer Kid Stuff after watching this. You can subscribe to the channel for new videos every Wednesday. We're still putting up those season two videos, so I hope you like those. Um, we've got another one coming next week. And that's it for me. I'll see you next time at Queer Kid Stuff.